All right, mates. Here is a full walkthrough of central production, the second area in the game. I've decided to do this because it's a very tough area and I will give you tips versus these rhino enemies and other enemies and also all the shortcuts that you need to know and most of the implants locations. There we go, let's start. You see me now jump over an attack of a rhino enemy. This is something you can do always as soon as they are doing that uh, swinging attack. Wait for the second one and you can jump over it. Here, use this location where I'm going, you will encounter Hobbs, an NPC. Hobbs will join you in Mad Bay and he will give you some crafting materials for your trouble. Try to use sneak attacks as much as possible, that will leave you untouched most of the time. And that is what you want. Go over here, watch out for the sneak attack from this nasty enemy. Now these guys are problematic because they tend to do some kind of a rush attack that hits you two times and you can't really do much. But we will cover that when in the next fight. In this location there is a second NPC, I forgot what his name is, some kind of a mental case. Go here and you will encounter that. This is now a path to the implant, which I will show you. Here you can see me jumping over the second swing attack, you can always do that. Here I failed, for some reason game sometimes allows you to do stuff, sometimes it doesn't. It's a very frustrating situation to be in. If you want to go for the implant but it's very well guarded, you'll have to go here. Now these guys are much easier than the ones with the hammers. The only thing you need to know, you need to do with them is simply block and they will recoil off of you and then you can do your stuff here you can use the exo lift it's a dead end there's an implant up top and there's also an implant behind those crates containers whatever they are now just note that when you use exo lift to go up for the implant you will fight spiders and these spiders do not respond so you can take one by one and then go and bank your tech scrap and just go back when there are less of them up the stairs they're very tough enemies so i would definitely suggest that you do that use your ranged attack for your drone to pull enemies especially the sharpshooter ones these sharpshooters that use these guns are really nasty enemies because they tend to do a lot of damage and it's really hard to avoid the sharpshooting attack, the sniper attack, the gun attack, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. Now this is somewhere I fucked up a bit because I don't feel like in this game that heavy impact weapons are that useful, especially against rhino enemies, against the guys with Lynx gear, sure, because they tend to constantly stagger when you hit them with high impact weapons, but in this case it was not worth it. I don't even know why I switched to that. I suggest fast weapons or staves. Staves are pretty good. Now this is what I was talking about. You block an attack when these guys rush you and then you counter with R1 button. That will do a lot of damage. A lot more than you usually can do with a single strike. Now this is the area where I don't know how to get yet. Maybe you guys know how to get that. I don't think you can go right now. You can also explore the area to the right. I will immediately show you the path to the shortcut and to the boss. To the right there is a robot you can fight and there, there are also a couple of enemies. I think four enemies that you need to pull one by one. But it's a dead end as well. You can't go anywhere. At least not yet. I think this area uh, behind it I have shown you that can be... A, accessed somewhere later is the area where you can actually um, get by going to the path that I've said to the right where there are four enemies. Now you can go over there and uh, explore that area but it's also a dead end it will lead you below. You can go here to unlock the first shortcut just watch out for this enemy as I said block his incoming attack and then press R1 to do a huge damage attack. Note two things, try to have farming runs and try to have progression runs. This is a progression run which means target blue unarmored areas of your enemies 
every time. This, this will make short work of them and you will also gain proficiency with your weapon faster. Here is an implant below and an enemy that is banging his head. Hello. I was banging my head as well like that when I was playing this area for the first time. So anyway, this is the first shortcut unlocked. Let's get back to playing. And for the farming runs you can always choose one enemy and then just go back to the save point and uh, maybe reload game if you want to see if he will have different gear upon them. It's really easy to do farming in this game for gear. At least the normal gear. For some reason this guy did not respawn, I don't know why. And I've failed with the path, don't go here, you can't do anything yet. You can pick up some implant up to the top, but you will do that later on as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Here we are back where we left off. There is a robot enemy there and there is an NPC here. You can give her some kind of a stay which I did stuff, weapon which I did not find yet. You can also go all the way down to the bottom, but it does nothing from what I've seen. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm going to have to check that area once again. But so far I didn't see it does anything relevant. You can see this attack. This is the most frustrating attack to deal with because you can't block it. At least I didn't manage to block it. Maybe if you time it right, maybe you can block it, but I seriously doubt it. Very frustrating to deal and very fast attack that is hard to avoid. These are the new enemies. Uh, now, they have a specific thing you have to do to kill them. Unfortunately, they tend to bug out a lot. So your way of doing things might be completely different and you can al always use bugs against them because you can go near these crates and they will bug out. But the proper way to do stuff is simply to wait for them to do that huge slashing move. He, it's a two hit combo attack that does a lot of damage. While they're doing that they will not track your movement so you can go behind them and do a couple of attacks from behind. This is the only way you can properly damage them like this. And when you do that, they will try to repair themselves. Just be careful, use faster weapons here, don't use uh, staves like I did. Because they are, f they are very slow with their attack. Not very slow, but slowish. And when they, when they try to repair, you just go back, go at their back and continue slashing. This is the only way you can defeat these guys. I mean, if you bug them out, you can just spam your attacks and eventually you'll destroy them, but it will take some time. And this is what I'm talking about. He is now bugged out. The only thing I can do here is just keep damaging because he will constantly follow me when I try to get behind him. So I can't do the normal attack, normal high damaging attack versus him anymore. Well, the only thing that's left is just to spam normal attacks at his armored areas, and that's it. And this is a nasty area over here. The problem are these two gunslingers. As I said before, it's hard to dodge this. It's really hard to dodge this. So my advice here is to first pull the guy, the guy in the middle, and then bum rush these two fuckers over there. I didn't do this properly, I fucked up, but either way. You can also check out the area, I forgot what the area to the right will uh, will bring you, maybe some of the implant or not. Is the area that I was in before where I was fighting the robot, I just went straight to the bridge because this is the way to the boss. I'm not giving you every path possible in this video, I'm going giving you the shortcuts and path to the boss. You can explore everything else when you unlock some shortcuts and when you're confident that you can do these battles without much issue. I suggest that you also upgrade your weapon to at least Mark II. I mean that's the highest one you can do at this point anyway. cross the bridge when you're ready. This is the fight that you will not do for the first time when you're traveling because this is the shutter that I unlocked later on. I will show you where you need to go to unlock it. 
but uh, I had to do this battle unfortunately and uh, yeah you can see the troubling patterns of this robot it's not easy to get behind him and uh, he tends to repair himself uh, at very few occasions but when he starts repairing himself then he will continuously try to repair himself which will make the fight a lot lot easier You just gotta get to that point, which is not easy. Most of the enemies in this game have some kind of weird patterns. They tend to follow you with their attacks. It's really, really frustrating endeavor. And I'm really frustrated with the game in general because it had so much more potential. I love the game, but it's not that great overall. Here is the area where you can go, defeat some enemies, and you will have an implant, and that way you will unlock the shutters. Now let's unlock the second shortcut. Go over here to the exolift. Always, if you can, try to do sneak attacks from behind. That will make an easy work of enemies. And versus these guys, always block and then come back immediately with a counter attack. Counter attacks are not done only by uh, ducking and jumping over and then pressing the attack button no they are done also when you block and when you do an attack after the block here is another area uh, this is where you can do two things you can uh, move some kind of a bridge and you can also rem uh, put the smelter machines on a different position you will see where they are later on it's hard for me to explain if you haven't been to this area but you can play with these two consoles and yeah, you'll see what they do. I'm not even sure what the second one where the bridge, this one, bridge control, I don't know what it does, to be honest. Here you can refill your uh, meds, which is really, really useful. Uh, you can see the lift over there that will get you to the bottom where you can continue and avoid these two smelter robots that I was telling you about. And here is the path back to the med bay. You will get to the personnel arrival area once more. This is not a scheduled break time. Ready for more? Well, here we go. You're not even half done yet. Now that you unlock a couple of shortcuts, you can maybe try to farm some enemies because you can get a lot of scraps here. Also, when you tend to do battles in a very successful manner without the usage of medkits, your tech scrap will continue to rise, your multiplier will continue to rise. I The thing I hate about this game, I absolutely fucking abhor that, is the fact that you will lose your scrap that when you've died if the timer runs out the timer is such a fucking dumb idea it was in lords of the fallen as well i don't understand what they were thinking with it wasn't there someone who said in the development team look man that's fucking stupid that makes no bloody sense just let the players play carefully they it's the game is hard as it is you don't need to rush because they will punish you these enemies they will do their animation and attack you from behind. Well, there's no multiplier from behind, but when they attack you. But either way, you're going to suffer and then you're going to use med kits for nothing. This is also a scarab enemy, if I'm not mistaken. Here you can farm scarab gear. Might do a video especially on that. And here I uh, reassign smelting machines. You can actually defeat those two machines. And if you reassign them, you have more chance of doing that because they will be further apart than before.
here you can use this lift that way you can skip the first section of the smelting area the way you need to go is right over there near that demon where I we're near the not demon Jesus Christ I'm thinking of Neo near that smelter machine I was thinking about smelter demon from Dark Souls one of the most hated enemies ever in my book if you guys want to laugh your ass out I did a video on HD play gaming channel when I was doing the smelter demon boss when I was raging hard you will laugh your ass out either way I'll show you the continuation of the path that we've taken before if you don't want to use the lift although I suggest that you use the lift there's no point in using the exo lift You can see block, quick attack, he's done. Just upgrade your weapons, have really powerful weapons for progression and you can have the weaker weapons in if you want to farm schematics. Because weaker we weapons are better because of the consecutive damage you can do to a certain armor piece. That gives you more chance of it actually dropping after you cut the arm out, cut the body part out, sorry. Also have proximity sensor on you that will notify you of any kind of implants in the vicinity and also it will notify you of any kind of pickups and overcharge terminals as well. So this is the smelting area where we reassigned the smelting machines. There you can go. I tried to get to that treasure that proximity sensor was telling me about but I didn't uh, find it I don't know where it is honestly no bloody idea usually there would be a smelting machine over here but we've reassigned it to another spot and you can now fight them one by one. Just know that there's also a small robot there. Which can be a problematic thing. So try to pull him. And here is the elevator where we went down before. A minute ago. The thing you need to do is go there. And this is a problematic choke point. Because they will shoot at you. So the best thing you can do is just bum rush the fucker. And try to get him to get to you because there's also a robot there that will punch you almost died here when you manage to get him here then you can fight him off and afterwards you can fight with the robot in a calm manner because fighting two enemies at once in this game although it is pretty doable it's not recommended especially if there's this motherfucker here lurking about Another buggy mess of a fight. I'm, I'm so sad that they still are making these unpolished games. Same as the Lords of the Fallen. You know what the beauty of Neo and Dark Souls is? When you're actually dying, you're learning. You know your way. This In this game, you're not learning that much when you die. You know that feeling? Aha, now I know what I need to do. Yeah, it's not here. It's not here. You're going to say to, to yourself, yeah, now I know what to do. Then you're going to get to the same fight. And because of the weird patterns and tracking of um, enemies' attacks and whatnot, you will find yourself again in a shitstorm. And then you're going to be confused and think, fucking hell, I've learned nothing. And yet I've died so many times. This is why Dark Souls, uh, not only Dark Souls, Demon Souls as well, is a special game. Just because of that feeling. And many other things. There is an option up top. You can go and get the implant. Here is a bloodhound weapon. That huge sword that I am wielding right now. I did a special video on it. Where you can find it. Here is the progression route. 
and another enemy that is what a muslim or something dude is praying i don't know what the fuck he's doing crazy bastard go to these stairs there will be a couple of enemies try to defeat them one by one and there is also a gun over there that mountable machine gun whatever it is You can defeat most of these enemies if you have Mark II weapon in a single combo. As long as you know what you're doing. I like the animation of combos in this game. It's fantastic. That's what I was surprised the most. The game doesn't feel so unpolished like Lords of the Fallen. It does feel at times really unpolished, but not as Lords of the Fallen. I think Lords of the Fallen is a game that suffered from same mistakes in design in combat where there were no clear patterns oh yeah there is an implant here we can jump on this pipe where i've shown you before where there is no fence on the other side and go to the crate sorry i digressed a bit I don't even know how to name this video, early impressions, full walkthrough, what not, there will be a lot of names in this title. Here is the last, actually not the last, second to last shortcut. Now you've done most of the part. I will not go up there again, no need. Instead I will just go and continue on my path. Don't forget that you have a med station over here that will replenish your injections. Also, what I forgot to mention is sometimes when you're going off your way and trying to explore stuff, don't forget that you can destroy most of the grates that are in your way. Most of the some kind of fences or something, don't forget, you can do that. Don't be shy to swing your weapons. Here is the progression route to waste disposal and the boss, but I will show you something else. Here is the door. Here are the doors that are not open. But we will open them like this. Go over here. And now drop down. You will have a couple of things you can pick up there. And some fights as well. And you can open those doors that I mentioned. I think you can open them by swinging your sword or something. That's what I was telling you about. If you see a path that is blocked. For example, I think this path where I'm right now is blocked you can destroy it just swing your sword here is an implant to the right i think it's vital boost And now you can open these doors and get back to the progression route. Some more enemies, just for your satisfaction. Watch out for this guy, he will bum rush you when you're not looking, so I suggest take care of him first. Yeah, I hate these guys with this huge weapon, because because of that fast thing that they do, the two-hit combo that you can't block, only because of that. There's also an implant here where I'm looking. Just go around this, uh, whatever this is, machine. And here we are at Toxic Waste Disposal. Now watch out for these piles of goo or whatever it is. They will hurt you. Not that much, but still, you will feel it. 
these enemies can be problematic the only way so far i've found how you can defeat them easily is by simply using a long range weapon like staff and do one hit then dodge behind then one hit dodge behind because they are really slow as you can see they are like zombies i think it's the fastest possible and safest way to deal with these fuckers They tend to do a lot of damage and they are a bit sturdier than the ones that we were fighting so far. And they also drop Liquidator armor, which I'm wearing right now in the video. Avoid the jumping attack, you cannot block it, I believe. And here we go, getting closer to the last shortcut and the boss. There's one enemy to the left, you can skip it if you walk slowly. Here there's a robot and one more enemy. I suggest pulling the enemy. Look at this slow fucking bastard, it's so boring. And this is what I was telling you about. Long range weapon, smack at their vulnerable area, rinse and repeat. That will leave you unharmed. I just skip this bastard, I can't be arsed with him. To the left we can't do anything yet. Oh yeah, watch for this guy, I completely forgot about this guy while doing the video. And he will drop full scarab set. So you can farm Scar Upset here as well. There are two pots. One is a dead end that will get you an implant and a robot fight. And one is towards the shortcut and the boss. This is the one to the shortcut and the boss. Here is another Scarab enemy. I think Scarab is the only medium armor you can find at this point in game. Try to always search areas a bit. Walk around. Have fun. I will show you where the enemies are, so you don't have to worry about that. You just need to explore the rest of it. Here is the dead end, where you can get an implant. Try to walk in slowly and do the attack. I died here, so I rushed in to pick up my scraps. Yeah, very annoying enemy. Here we go again with the same setup. I just wanted to annoy the bastard here with some of the shots to his right leg, left leg, sorry. But this is the goal here, to damage him from behind and let him try to heal up, then you go batshit crazy on his ass. No homo. Here is also an audio log. I think I passed out from the pain. Don't know how long I've been lying there, cold on the concrete floor, half dead, awakening to a nightmare. I couldn't remember. Now continue forward. Who I was. But when I saw those people, you can't go here yet. I don't know how to get past these unauthorized areas. Must be something that we unlock later on. You can fight this guy, but you don't need to. I don't see what is here guarding or what is the point of him standing there. Oh yeah, he's guarding this. My bad. Go here and you will have another implant at the end of a walkway.
and follow the path that I've indicated to the last shortcut. And that's it. I hope this video will help you lads out. I'm sure it will because I was losing my shit with this area. I was so fucking frustrated with the enemies and everything here while I finally figured some stuff out. Don't forget please to take a look at the description and the video explaining why I've decided to implement donations and everything if you guys find this video and this channel helpful, if you appreciate the work that I'm doing. And that would be it. Next video will probably be the boss fight. See ya then. Welcome, Warren.